And now, from stage 21 at Universal Studios at Universal Orlando Resort, it's Total Nonstop Action Wrestling Impact. Charlotte Flair has been so successful here in TNA so far, but somebody, she has a big target on her back, and somebody wants to take that belt away from them. They want to take that, that success away from Charlotte Flair, but is anybody going to be able to do it? Here tonight, we're going to find out if Charlotte is successful against TNA legend, pro wrestling legend, excuse me, Jacqueline Moore. Yeah, like how you said that, Flair. She's not only a legend here in TNA, she's a legend all around the world, Flair. She's been in the wrestling business for years. She knows what she's doing in there, man. She's a veteran. Jacqueline, one of the best in the world. She's going up against Charlotte Flair. This is for the title, Flair. Really? It, on my notes, it, it said that this is a non-title match, but Vince Russo must have made a change in the card here tonight. Which isn't surprising at all. Almost every show that's booked changes during the show when Vince Russo's in charge. That can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Remember Booker T, he won his first world championship thanks to Vince Russo changing the match. It was supposed to be Hulk Hogan versus Jeff Jarrett. And there was a lot of controversy at WCW's Bash at the Beach that caused Booker T to get a world championship match. Booker T would become the World Heavyweight Champion by defeating Jeff Jarrett in the main event later that night. And there we see Charlotte Flair. A little Flair strut right there from the nature girl, Charlotte Flair. Take it down, Jack Lamore. She needs to be focused on that leg. Oh man, oh man, that leg looks like it's really hurt Jacqueline. Having a lot of pain on that leg there. Let me tell you something, one submission move or one move like we just saw moments ago, that could break anyone's leg. It could break anyone's leg. Jacqueline standing back up though, which is a good sign, and using her legs as a weapon, that's a better sign, but she needs to be careful too. Charlotte Flair gets a hold of those legs, she could make a tap out to that figure four leg lock, or the figure eight. Yeah, man, Jacqueline, it's gonna be harder for her to move around that ring when she got her leg. Right now, she needs to stop paying attention to Ric Flair and pay attention to Charlotte Flair. She's the one in the ring right now, Flair. She is the one that's going up against her one-on-one, -on -one, Flair. Can't get distracted like this, especially with Charlotte Flair. I mean, Ric Flair is her father. Dirtiest player in the game. Charlotte Flair, she's been known to get a little dirty when she get in that ring, Flair. So she needs to be careful. Jacqueline, that is, needs to be careful. Look at this. Jacqueline with that suplex. She going up to that middle rope. Oh, and a splash missed as Charlotte Flair rolled out of the way. And then a clothesline takes down Jacqueline. Down goes Miss Tennessee. 
And now serve up, look at this, Charlotte waiting for her to get back up to her feet so she can take out that leg once again. A knee clip, take it down Jacqueline, but Jacqueline gets back up and now Charlotte Blair with the spear. One of her trademark moves, a move that's put many people away in that ring. Charlotte Flair may get it right here. One, two, not gonna be a three count though. Jacqueline gets the shoulder up. This match is going to continue. Even though the match is gonna continue, can it continue? Jacqueline, man, she got a lot of heart. Trust me, she got a lot of heart. You can clearly see that she got a lot of heart, man. But. But? Sorry, I got distracted. I was thinking of Jacqueline's heart, but that's besides the point right now. Oh I'm just trying God. to say, Flair, Jacqueline, she got a lot of heart, but that's her wrist oh. and Andrew Melita oh. spear from Jacqueline. Now that's it's it. spear from Jacqueline. One, she hooks the leg. Two, One, two, three. No. Oh, now the resilience. The referee says two. Char Char Charlotte to stay in this match, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I can't believe she, she kicked out. That caught me off guard. I thought the match was over. That was I amazing. I thought we had a new knockouts champion. No, nope, not yet. T-Bone suplex. T-Bone suplex by Jacqueline and Charlotte. She almost... She almost lost right there, Serva. She almost took an L here tonight. She almost lost the title. But no, Jacqueline, Charlotte, still both going at, going for a belly to belly, and Jacqueline with the right to the eyes, and a German suplex. No, it gets countered by Charlotte Flair. Hooks the legs, one. Only a one count, she kicks out quickly. Charlotte Flair off the ropes now. Oh my God, she goes right after the leg again of Jacqueline. And that is a smart move right there. What a trouble match here tonight to get things started off on TNA Impact. Your 60 man drill and rush. And later on tonight, we're gonna see Samoa Joe, the grand champion, team up with the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Christian Cage. They will take on the Bullet Clubs. Finn Balor, who's number one contender for the television championship, and the world heavyweight champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Oh, Look at this, speaking of phenomenal, a boot, a boot to Jacqueline. She landed on her feet. Charlotte landed on her feet. Yeah, right on her feet, plus she's about to get slammed. She landed on her feet somehow, and Jacqueline is in trouble now, man. She got boot to her chest, now she getting knees to the face. Oh my God. And a chop across the chest. I think she's been focused on the chest right now, player. I guess she thinks, man, if she got a lot of heart, she that's going to be what she's going to focus on then, player. She's going to focus on that heart. But really, though, it's taking a lot of air out of her right now, player. Taking a lot of air out of her. She can't breathe right now. She in pain. And now Charlotte Flair gets a fist across the face. But Charlotte Flair turns around and swaps that drop kick out of the way. Oh, player, now her leg's about to get messed up here. Figure four leg lock oh, no. is locked in. And serve up. This is trouble right now for Jacqueline. And now she's going for a figure eight. She has the figure eight locked in now. Charlotte with the figure eight leg lock on Jacqueline. And Jacqueline may have no choice but to tap out. What an incredible match she's had here tonight, though. You can't take anything away from her if she taps out. She put on a lot of pride here tonight. But Miss Tennessee isn't going to go away anytime soon it seems like she goes for another spear Jacqueline with the chop well Charlotte with the chop across the chest of Jacqueline I mean and now look at the sidewalk slam tilt a whirl by Charlotte oh no now Charlotte she's so athletic more athletic than her father a lot of people would say and it's because of things like this oh I thought she was going for the corkscrew uh, moonsault. She went for that senton instead. Couldn't get every rotation right there. But luckily, Jacqueline, she kicked out. She's still in the match. And that is such an impressive and hard athletic move to do. So I can completely understand why Charlotte didn't have enough energy, maybe, to do a complete turn on that corkscrew moonsault. Oh my God, Charlotte is so athletic. Look at this, Jacqueline with the German suplex. This time she hits it. It's all over here. One, two, three. We have, we don't know. It's only a two count. It's only a two count. And Jacqueline's not gonna end it yet. Well, she's trying to end it right here. Charlotte still has a lot left though. But how much does Jacqueline have left? 
she goes right after the legs. And you see how Jacqueline, she grabbed after one leg, she grabbed after another. Both of her legs are not doing good at this point, serve up. They're both damaged. She, she's not even getting up as fast as she was just a moment ago right now. Again. And a oh, spear no, she went by ribs. Charlotte. She went after those ribs this time. Taking that air out of Jacqueline. Look at Charlotte. She's getting a little bit tired too, man. She's getting a little bit tired. Oh, player. What's she waiting for now? What is she waiting for now? Oh, she went with that boot, but she hit her right in her leg. And Jacqueline, I don't know if she went for a spear again or if that time she just tripped. That time she did go for a spear. That's for sure. And Charlotte, she doesn't have enough energy on her legs to get enough speed as she was doing just moments ago. Now it's a lot of trouble and a boot to the face again. Player, she hit her with that boot right in her knee. Hyper extending that knee probably. And then she hit her too with that boot right in the head. And now Charlotte, she, she sees that Jacqueline's still moving around. She's still trying to get up. She's still got a lot of heart. So she's gonna keep just putting on more pain and more pain throughout this match until she can finally put Jacqueline away. She's going up to the top rope. She might be looking to end it right now. Can she get? Here we go. Oh, Moonsault, but Jacqueline rolls out of the way, and that's exactly what, what Charlotte did not want to do, man. That's what she was trying to avoid earlier. A drop kick by Jacqueline. Going for the leg right now. Hooking the leg. One, two. Oh my God, still not gonna put away. This has been probably the greatest match I've seen in Charlotte or Jacqueline's career so far, man. But they're always stepping up their game, man. Every single time we see them compete against anybody else, they stepping their game up. And that's why Vince Russo put the tie on the line to give them more motivation. Let's be honest, man. Charlotte, Jacqueline, they probably wouldn't be given as much as they're given right now if it wasn't for the title. We hit the nail around the head right there. Serve up a spear from Jacqueline once again. She goes for the cover. One, two, three. No, only a two count. Even Ric Flair got scared there. He didn't know what to do. But Charlotte Flair gets the shoulder up again. But she's looking very tired now. Both women putting everything out on the line here tonight on TNA Impact. Right now, Charlotte taking a lot of damage. Jacqueline now. They're both moving very slowly here in this match. After everything they've been through, I'm not surprised. And now she's going to take it high risk, it looks like. And we still got X Division Championship match to come. And the X Division always mostly delivers, man. But after these women, after what they're doing here tonight, oh, look at that. Frankensteiner, man. After what we see them doing, man, the X Division, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, they're going to have a lot to live up to, man. Wait a minute. Oh, Claire. Charlotte Flair. Get knocked off the apron here. Or off the turnbuckle, I mean. Jacqueline gonna go high risk again since Charlotte went up there herself this time. And another Frankenstein. Ric Flair is doing everything he can to help his daughter, but it's not really doing, it's not really doing anything right now. But wait a minute. Charlotte Flair now. Watch out now. Oh, a spear by Charlotte Flair. And now Charlotte Flair in control of this match. Still leading. Oh, a boot to the head again. This is such brutal. Such a brutal match right now. Now Charlotte. Another boot to the face. That could be what ends this match. It has to be what ends this match. She's, oh, she's too close to the ropes. Charlotte Flair got to try to flip it back over and go for that pin again though. Two. Oh, but Jacqueline gets the shoulder up now. That was probably just the one second that she needed to get out of that, man. But she's still not getting up to her feet. She's still out of it right now. Right, right about that, serve up. And right now, Charlotte, she's known to be going to the top rope. She could end it right here. This is the third time. She hits that corkscrew moonsault. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. This match is over. Charlotte Flair retains the Knockouts Championship. What an incredible match to get things started off here on TNA Impact. That was an amazing match, man. I am glad that I got to watch it here tonight. Jacqueline and Charlotte, man, they put on one hell of a match here tonight for the title. We didn't even know it was a title match until the title 
was put on the line here tonight. Now there would be on the line during the match. Look at this. Spear by Charlotte. Spear by Jack. Both women wasn't able to put each other away just yet. Bam! I crunched through Santon. She didn't get that full corkscrew on it. Bam! That boot to the face. Flying across the face of Jacqueline. She wasn't able to put her away, man. It does, but when you look at it from that angle, she probably didn't get a lot of that boot. But she got all that corkscrew moonsault right there, man. And it knocked Jacqueline out. Put her away. Got Charlotte that three count, man. To keep the title here tonight, Claire. Yeah, what a man. Congratulations to Charlotte Flair, the TNA Knockouts Champion. She doesn't look like she's going to be losing that title anytime soon, but she needs to stay. She needs to just get better. Keep getting better and better because somebody's going to look to take that title away from her. I'm telling you, somebody's going to want to take that title away from her. And any second, she may be defeated and take it. Get that title taken away from her, sir. Yep, yeah, but it ain't gonna happen here tonight because she won. She's the greatest female athlete in professional wrestling right now. Don't go anywhere. Your 60-man drill and rush continues. Still to come later tonight, Christian and Samoa Joe team up against the Bullet Club's Finn Balor and the phenomenal AJ Styles. But up next when we return, Dolph Ziggler challenges Kevin Owens for the X Division Championship. Russo, the director of Authority, is out here with Dolph Ziggler. This is surprising. Wonder what he's out here now for. But right now, anyways, we're going to see Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin Owens. This Russo has been looking up, getting an up-close personal look at a lot of the athletes here in TNA. And now we're going to see Dolph Ziggler versus Kevin Owens for the X Division Championship. And I know what some of you are thinking right now. Kevin Owens isn't a cruiserweight. Dolph Ziggler isn't even a cruiserweight. But the X Division is about no limits. Here tonight, Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens going after the X Division Championship. Let's see what happens when these two go in there and put on an exciting contest here tonight. You like what I did there, sir? Yeah, I do hypnosis. Y'all, player. X. Excitement with the X, player. X Division. The championship, man. These two men, oh man, such incredible athletes. We're gonna see him go at it here tonight. But Kevin Owens, he's not, he's not gonna, he doesn't want to give up the X Division Championship anytime soon, man. This is another title match here on TNA Impact. Doesn't usually happen, but like you said, man, with Vince Russo, a lot of changes happen within the show. This is for the X Division Championship. This was supposed to be the only title match we were having here tonight. But then we got that incredible Knockouts Championship match just moments ago. Right now, we got Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler. They have to follow that up. Can they follow it up? And if they do, AJ Styles and Finn Balor versus Christian and Samoa Joe, man, that's going to be a barn burner, if you know what I mean, Claire. Because barn burn, burn down the barn. I guess people get so excited they used to burn barns down back in the day. I don't know, but it's going to be an incredible match, Claire. It's a happy. Oh, will you stop it? No, I said it's a happy. That means I'm the little monster and you're the brain. Oh, there's no way at all that I'm the brain. Oh, you say that again. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it, man. All right, we got Kevin Owens in the ring now. We got Dolph Ziggler in the ring. We got Vince Russo looking up close by. X Division Championship. What's going to happen, man? I think a lot's going to happen in this match. X Division Championship. You think we're going to have a new champion here tonight? Hypnosis? I think Kevin Owens is going to find a way. I think he's definitely going to find a way to hold on to that X Division Championship a lot longer. Yeah, Kevin Owens, he'll find a way. But Dolph Ziggler, man, he wants that championship. He doesn't want to take another loss. His win-loss record throughout his career, not very, not very impressive at all. Dolph Ziggler has taken so many losses in his career. A lot of people have already given up on him ever. Not only winning the world championship, but ever winning a title ever again in professional wrestling, some have even said. This X Division title match, great opportunity for Dolph Ziggler. Hopefully he can pick up a victory here tonight though, win the championship. 
is going up against one of the most dangerous men in professional wrestling today. Oh, a super kick! And that is Dolph Ziggler's finishing maneuver that Kevin Owens just laid him out with. Just like that. Oh. Well, it ain't over yet. Kevin Owens, he doesn't brag about having the best super kick in the business, player. That's why it's a nice finishing maneuver, but it's still very effective. And it's putting him in the winning in the winnings right now. It's putting him in first place in this race right now that's going on between him and Ziggler, man. But like I was going to say, man, Kevin Owens is one of the most dangerous people. No, no. One of the most dangerous people not only in TNA, but all of professional wrestling, player. But TNA is the top professional wrestling organization. So how much does that tell you right there, man? Guys, oh, but. And the thing that's scary about it is Kevin Owens, he breaks the rules. That's what makes him so dangerous. But even if he did follow the rules, he'd still be a very dangerous competitor, man. Very dangerous. Serve up, you have a great point right there. Even if he was very respectful in that ring, he'd still be very dangerous. Exactly to your point. Kevin Owens using the ropes to his advantage right now. Using the ropes as a weapon to lay Dolph Ziggler out. Look at how tired Dolph Ziggler is looking right now. This isn't good. This isn't good for at all for Dolph Ziggler right now. Goes for that drop kick, but Kevin Owens moves out of the way and a clothesline again, but he misses. Dolph Ziggler went for a clothesline, but didn't get much on it. Didn't do much damage to Kevin Owens. At that time, it does, though. and that time, it takes Kevin Owens down. So Dolph Ziggler, he's doing a good job now, at least at the moment right now. He's gotten some momentum on his side. Can he keep it going right now? Can he keep taking down Kevin Owens right now? That remains to be seen. And look at this, Kevin Owens so fast, getting back up to his feet with a back body toss. That was amazing. And now this, he wants to slow Dolph Ziggler down, so he's going to lock in a headlock, and he's going to slow him down right now, taking the stamina away from him, taking his energy away from him, taking his momentum away from him, and even lowering down this crowd so they're not trying to give Dolph Ziggler any motivation in this match. Kevin Owens, he does this a lot in his matches. He doesn't care if it's boring. He doesn't care if it bores the crowd. He's trying to win. Dolph Ziggler goes for a super kick and missed. Kevin Owens with a European uppercut to the back of the neck. And you notice Ziggler tried to hammer the ribs, I think, with that super kick. Either way, it still missed. And listen to the crowd. They're actually on Kevin Owens' side. A lot of fans, they like the brutal nature of Kevin Owens' wrestling style. They like the disrespect. In Ring of Honor, remember how Kevin Owens, how he was, he was such a respected wrestler with El Generico. And Kevin Owens, though, would later turn his back on El Generico. And El Generico, he hasn't been seen ever since that match with Kevin Owens in Ring of Honor, that ladder match. I don't think El Generico will ever be the same again. I think he retired immediately afterwards because of the devastation that happened in that match. And even his, his other best friend, Sami Zayn, he turned his back on Sami Zayn as well. And Chris Jericho, all these guys. Yeah, Kevin Owens, man, he can't be trusted at all. The guy's very disrespectful too, man. He's doing a good job against Dolph Ziggler right now. Taking him out. Trying to go up on his shoulders, but Dolph Ziggler's able to counter it, trying to get something going for himself. Dolph Ziggler, former multiple-time World Heavyweight Champion, where he used to compete for World Wrestling Entertainment. Of course, now, World Wrestling Entertainment ceased to exist. Dolph Ziggler is going to have to, if he wants to be the best, he's going to have to be the champion number one organization right now. That's total non-stop action wrestling. Dolph Ziggler doing a great job against Kevin Owens right now, man. Great job. Yeah, an amazing job from Dolph Ziggler. He's waiting for his... Looks like that super kick. He hits the super kick. Can we have a new X Division champion? One, two, only a two count. In the crowd comes alive. They are shocked that Kevin Owens got shoulder up. Dolph Ziggler's shocked right now. He can't believe it. Asking the referee to make sure it was a two count. If it was a two count, that was a very close three, though. Dolph Ziggler still talking with the referee. He needs to focus on Kevin Owens right now. 
Like, like Vince Russo's even trying to get his attention right now, but he's not paying attention right now. And look at this. Kevin Owens, I think he, he tried to poke Dolph Ziggler in his eyes. I think he did a little bit. Dolph Ziggler had no idea who was going to super kick attempt. Not where well work right now. Nice arm drag by Kevin Owens, though. And a headbutt to his mouth. Super kick. Knocking him out cold. Oh, no. And Kevin Owens is going up to the top rope. Here we go. The high-risk X Division style from Kevin Owens. Swanton Bomb. This is how he beat Hideo Itami last week on TNA Impact. One, two, three. No, it's not going to be a three count. This time, Dolph Ziggler kicks out, and Kevin Owens isn't able to put him away. And after that's happened, what else does he need to do? What else can he do right now, player? Right now, he's got to be thinking. Long and hard right now about what he needs to do with Dolph Ziggler. Oh, he got caught. I think Kevin Owens was actually trying to sucker Dolph Ziggler in right there. He's playing a little bit of possum just to trick him. And it worked to his advantage. Either way, man, Kevin Owens is still in control of this match. He's been in control throughout this match. Doug Ziggler's still showing a little bit of, a little bit of, oh, a little bit of life right now, player. Just like that, hypnosis. You see how he moved out of the way. And right now, Doug Ziggler. Oh. I don't know what he's trying to do there. Oh, he's trying to go for that famous. He couldn't get up. Well, he didn't have enough energy to get all the way up, it seems like. One. Two, only a one Wait, count. The fence, he couldn't. Only a one count from Kevin, from Dolph Ziggler on Kevin Owens, and now Kevin. Okay, oh, wait right to the eyes. A oh, right to the eyes. The referee been kind of lenient here when it comes to things like that. Because most wrestlers, they can still continue through that pain, but it's illegal. It happens. It happens enough times. Where the ref feels there's too much damage, he will definitely be disqualified here in this match. If we had a scoring system, it would definitely take a lot of points off that off the table right there. We only have a scoring system though for the grand championship, and it's changed since it's uh since the inaugural champion won. Damian Sandow, of course, known at the time as Aaron Rex when he won the title. The rules have changed and we've went to a simpler system where it's a, basically an Iron Man match. 10 minute Iron Man match, 15 minutes on pay-per-view sometimes. It, is, uh, it depends on uh, Vince Russo's ruling and how, many, how, how long should the time limit be. But, I mean, even that match doesn't have a lot. I mean, you're, you're disqualified and lose points, so that's a thing. Right now, it looks like Kevin Owens is going to end this match with the... Wait a minute. No, I thought he was going for a pop-up power bomb, but looks like he changed his mind. Dolph Ziggler, however, got to try to roll up Kevin Owens and go for the pin. But Kevin Owens turns things around, and Dolph Ziggler quickly escapes. Not even going to let go to a one count. I swear, Kevin Owens is going for that pop-up power bomb. It looked like there was a little bit of a... Maybe he saw something Dolph Ziggler... Zigzag by Dolph Ziggler goes for the cover. One, two, two count only for Dolph Ziggler yeah, on no. Kevin Owens. Let me get in here real quick, hypnosis. I want to talk about Dolph Ziggler right now, man. Let me say something real quick, all right? He needs to win this match. Kevin Owens needs to win it, too. I mean, let's be honest. Dolph Ziggler, he is an amazing athlete, but he's known as the show-off. Now there comes times where he shows off a little bit too much. He, and rather than focusing on trying to be a show off and show people an incredible super kick, he needs to practice on hitting that super kick and ending a match with that super kick. The same thing with the zigzag or the sleeper hole if he still uses that as a finishing maneuver, man. Dolph Ziggler has a, a line of arsenal, uh, a, a line of moves that he can use. But he needs to focus on using them and putting his opponent away rather than just using them to show off and look awesome. I mean, yeah, every, a lot of people are a fan of Shawn Michaels. A lot of people use super kicks. They use sweet chair music, but they don't put their opponent away. That's the problem right there. A lot of people don't really know how to use the super kick correctly, it seems. Hopefully, Dolph Ziggler knows how to use it correctly. 
And look at Kevin Owens. Look at this. F sync. I'm not gonna call it by its other name. Hit him with the F sync. And you see Kevin Owens right now. He, wait a minute. And Vince Russo, like, he got the attention of Kevin Owens right there, but you see Kevin Owens didn't go for the cover? That's a dangerous thing right there. I'm talking about Dolph Ziggler showing up. Kevin Owens has his moments where he oh. tries to show off, too. Really, everybody has a chance. Everybody has their moments where they try to show off. That's true. And sometimes it costs them a match, but most times they look more devastating when they do it. It's and all about that's confidence. that's what Kevin Owens wants to do. He wants to bruise the ego of Dolph Ziggler. Just don't right show there. too much confidence. Here we go with the pop look at this. power bomb, and that's going to be it. Wait a minute, we got Vince Wait Russo. Vince Russo talking to the Wait referee minute, right now. What's the DOA talking about right now, man? What's, what's Vince Russo talking about? I don't know. Kevin Owens had a, a, a pin attempt right there trying to put the match away. Wait a minute. And now Vince Russo is trying to get Dolph Ziggler, just trying to get Kevin Owens' attention. But Dolph Ziggler here. What's going on here? Look out, he goes for a right hand, didn't work ahead, but connects perfectly though. The super kick attempt missed from Kevin Owens. Went for another head button, got jawbreaker instead. Drop kick by Dolph Ziggler. Oh, and a drop kick to the chest. Or maybe the arm of Kevin Owens. I couldn't see where he kicked him, but he kicked him. Kevin Owens said to Vince Russo earlier, but whatever it is, it really, really offended uh, Vince, Vince Russo, it seems like. And now Vince Russo and Kevin Owens are getting into it. Dolph Ziggler's going to take advantage of this, it seems like. Here we go. He's looking for that super kick. He's going to try to put Kevin Owens away right now. So, no, Kevin Owens ducks it. And Dolph Ziggler collapses. Wait a minute, or does he? Oh, super kick to the ribs. He couldn't get all the way up, it seems Stay. like. And that may cost him. It, he needs to be careful. And then he still did some damage, though. He still did some damage to those ribs of Kevin Owens. So that is at least something to help him a little bit. DDT by Dolph Ziggler now. He's looking for that super kick one more time, man. But how much energy does Dolph Ziggler got left? He put everything he could into that first one and missed. Super kick! Super kick right under the mouth of Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens is out of it. Dolph Ziggler, if he can make the cover right now, he could be the new X Division champion, but he looks to be out of it right now. He seems to be coming to it now. He's so out of energy right now. Kevin Owens tried to get up, but he couldn't. We could have a new X Division champion right now. Kevin oh, Owens gets the shoulder God, off. But this is just insane right now, man. He still, he still kicked out. I don't know how. I don't know how, man. But he did. That was a, that was just such a devastating super kick. It should have been over. And now Dolph Ziggler. Super kick again. again. Oh, play. That's Dolph the third Ziggler time. He, the leg. One, one, two. two. Oh one. my God! The division championship. We have a new X Division champion on impact. Dolph Ziggler defeats Kevin Owens. Now listen, man. I'm all happy for Dolph Ziggler, but we cannot ignore the fact that Vince Russo got involved in this match. He did distract Kevin Owens a bit, and that gave Dolph Ziggler a bit of an advantage. However, man, he still ended up beating Kevin Owens. But I just can't hate. I, I, I just hate to think that maybe Vince Russo getting involved with this may have made the outcome different than if Vince Russo just stayed backstage and wasn't out here ringside, man. Well, you know, sir, Buff, you do make a good point there. Look at this here, the super kick. That's what ended the match. That is what gained Dolph Ziggler the TNA. X Division Championship. What an impressive victory from Dolph Ziggler here tonight. Congratulations to the new X Division Champion.
But you do make a great point. Did Vince Russo help Kevin Owens lose here tonight and help Dolph Ziggler get that win? Don't go anywhere. Your 60-minute drill and rush continues. Christian and Samoa Joe takes on the Bullet Club's Finn Balor and the phenomenal AJ Styles up next. This is your main event here tonight from the Impact Zone in Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. And here comes Canadian Rage, Christian Cage. Captain Charisma teams up with the Samoan Submission Machine, the Grand Champion, Samoa Joe. Can, can Christian capture the TNA World Heavyweight Championship? Will he be the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion at TNA Sacrifice? Yeah, and there's gonna be a whole lot of great matches. We're gonna have stars from New Japan Pro Wrestling also participating in the event. We're gonna have a mystery opponent from New Japan Pro Wrestling taking on the Cowboy James Storm at TNA Sacrifice. We also have Christian, who's coming to the ring right now to challenge the phenomenal AJ Styles for the World Heavyweight Championship at TNA Sacrifice in the main event. But we also have Finn Balor taking on our truth for the Television Championship. And Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are looking to get tag team gold as they take on Voodoo Kid Mafia, the James Gang, the New Age Outlaws, the TNA Tag Team Champions. Yeah, and that's not it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot more that's going down at TNA Sacrifice. You cannot miss it, ladies and gentlemen. It's tomorrow night on Pay-Per-View. Be sure you are subscribed to this channel to watch TNA Sacrifice live only on Pay-Per-View, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but, and while you're at it, hit that like button, and don't forget to leave a comment on what you want to see in TNA in the future, on who you want to see, what you want to see, what you think should happen, what do you think's gonna happen, and what you're loving that's happening already. Here comes the Grand Champion, TNA Grand Champion Samoa Joe. Oh, play. He's gonna be defending that title as well, isn't he? Yes, he will. As I said, so much more at TNA Sacrifice, including Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins for the double, for the TNA Grand Championship. Man, I, I can't wait to see that hypnosis because it's gonna be off the chain. But right now, I can't wait to see this tag team main event, man. We got four of the top stars in TNA right now, man. And it's hard to say who the top guy is when you got so much top talent here in TNA, man. It's the most talented wrestlers in the world. But right now, man, the only one that can claim he is the very best is the World Heavyweight Champion himself, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And if Bullet Club want to take over, man, they're going to have to collect that gold. And that's what they're trying to do at TNA Sacrifice. Who's going to be able to get all the gold? Will every member of Bullet Club have a title after TNA Sacrifice? We're going to have to find out. But right now, man, Ben Bell about to prove himself. As well as the phenomenal AJ Styles for the Bullet Club here tonight. Here we go. Finn Balor has one of the greatest entrances in professional wrestling. I'm sure his opponent he looks at his entrance and sees that he's got the crowd on his side clearly. And not only that, but it has to intimidate his opponent wants that bell ring. Look at this, and Finn Balor and AJ Styles, the whole Bullet Club are seen as villains here in TNA. And however, you have everyone cheering for Finn Balor, cheering for the, everyone in the Bullet Club, cheering for the world champion AJ Styles. That's the power that the Bullet Club has. They may be villains, but the fans actually love these guys. It's amazing. These guys are just real cool, man. They're real cool, and that's what it's all about. They got all that charisma, man. That's basically what charisma is. Just 
how cool a guy is. And that's what Finn Balor has right now, man. The dude is cool as hell. Look how proud is reacting to his entrance, reacting to his entrance right now, man. Got beginning ahead of Christian and Samoa Joe right now, but then again, when I think about it, it's Christian and Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, he's a beast, man. Christian, he's very smart. He's a veteran. Christian has, has taken on, with all due respect to Finn Balor, taken on bigger, bigger stars, man. He's taking on guys like The Undertaker, Kane. Who knows what he's doing in there, man? Finn Balor, though. Could have him, could have him, you know, thinking a bit. So it's still something. I don't need to go down the track history of the phenomenal AJ Styles. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already know the track record that AJ Styles holds. Former multi-time multi world champion with World Wrestling Entertainment and TNA and New Japan Pro Wrestling. The phenomenal AJ Styles right now is the top guy in TNA. He's number one at everything. He should have a target on his back. I don't care who you are, you need to be, you need to be the guy that wants to beat this guy if you want to be the very best here in TNA. And that's going to the Bullet Club as well. Anybody in the Bullet Club needs to be looking at AJ Styles right now. And they need to be thinking, I want to beat AJ Styles. I want to be the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. And if they're not, they shouldn't be in this business, to be honest, in my personal opinion. Strong statement, man. But I, I actually agree with you, player. Anybody in the Bullet Club, they need to be looking at AJ Styles. And they need to be ready to compete with AJ Styles. And try to take that time from him or something, man. But I'm sure they're very loyal. I'm sure it'll be a very respectful fight if we ever see that happen. Right now, here we go with Finn Balor and Christian Cage starting in the ring right now, though. And Finn Balor, oh! Right off the bat, hits him with his own version of the Pele kick. And it's one of his signature maneuvers here. He could get a victory, but he couldn't get it that time. Christian able to get that shoulder up. Kick to the midsection there. Christian with the drop kick. I don't think he got all of it though. Finn Balor definitely didn't get all that in Suguri. And that's going to come back to haunt him right now. Maybe not. Oh, a devastating close on over the back of the neck of Christian. And he goes after Samoa Joe. He goes right after the Samoan submission machine. Don't know if that was a good idea for Finn Balor. He better hope Samoa Joe doesn't get tagged in anytime soon right now. Or else... He's going to be, uh-oh, Samoa oh. Joe may not even wait to get tagged in. I thought he was going to go right for Finn Balor there, but he goes back out of the ring right now. Maybe have respect for Christian Cage. Oh, maybe. Finn Balor thrown to the corner, and the phenomenal AJ Styles has been tagged in. Here we go. Toes line by Christian. This is what we're gonna see at TNA Sacrifice Sunday, live on pay-per-view. Christian versus AJ Styles. Got some chops across the chest, back and forth between AJ Styles and Christian, and Christian's not having any of that anymore. Got him with them punches. We tried to hit him with that kick, but Christian countered it. Oh, and then a swinging neck break and takes him off his feet, player. He got to be hurting that back of the head. Oh, wait a minute. Now he got Christian tripping over here. Elbow right in his ribs right now, player. That point of that elbow. Oh, and then that knee on his face. Come on, man. Christian is in trouble right now. He's in pain. Trust me. Yeah, a lot of devastating moves coming from the phenomenal AJ Styles right now, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. And look at Christian up. Oh, a jawbreaker. That had to hurt the mouth right now of AJ Styles. Hopefully he didn't bite his tongue or anything like that. And now Christian with a scoop slam. Not going to happen, though. A DDT by the phenomenal AJ Styles. 
Nice move there. Makes the tag to Finn Balor. AJ and Finn Balor working together. Oh, it seems. Insuguri by the phenomenal AJ Styles. You hear the fans saying, let's go Christian. Christian sucks. They're either on the side of Christian or they're on the side of the Bullet Club. It sounds like AJ Styles the current World Heavyweight Champion. And now we got a champ for Finn Balor right now as well. And broken up by Samoa Joe. AJ Styles throwing the referee out of the way. And look at this Samoa Joe fighting back. Referee keeping him out of the ring, and Finn Bell accidentally got AJ Styles with the right hand there. Look at this now. Samoa Joe oh, gets an elbow to the face. The legal participants in this match right now is Christian and Finn Balor, though. Remember that. Back elbow. Nearly a Finn Balor with the elbow drop. Christian right now. Oh! To focus on AJ Styles. He need to pay attention to the legal man that's in the match right now. Samoa Joe better get out before he get counted out. Oh! But he's gonna kick Finn Balor real quick before he gets out of the ring. He had enough of that. He hasn't even been tagged in yet, man. You know he wants to get in the ring and wants to do some damage, but it doesn't look like it's happening right now. Samoa Joe, he had he's focused on Finn Balor right he, now. He, he has to be. He has to be focused on him. Because if he's not focused on him. He's going to get hit again. He's had enough of AJ and Finn Balor in this match. He hasn't even got tagged in yet. And he's taking a damage here tonight. This is such a hot crowd here in the impact zone here tonight. Listen. Oh, my God. Listen to that shot that Christian took across the jaw of Finn Balor. And now Finn Balor trapped in the corner, or at least only momentarily. Now... Finn Balor fighting back. Oh, a right hand on Samoa Joe. And look at Finn Balor with the drop. Can he miss? He could the Oh, my God. Elbow right across the back of the head of Finn Balor. And this crowd is going insane for Finn Balor. Oh, my God. That right hand knocked Christian down. He went, he went down immediately from that shot. Finn Balor, what is he doing here? Oh no. Shotgun dropkick. First time I ever Black. saw that move was on WWE Raw, the video game. And the first time I saw that move, it was from a wrestler known as Suicide, who is a here in TNA right now. Right now, but I mean, he might be. I haven't seen him. He hasn't competed in a while, but you never know when suicide will creep up, man. And now Christian. What's he going to do here? Oh, oh first step to the unprettier. Fell around a few times. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, come on, AJ wait a minute. Styles with a drop kick across the back Come of on. Head. He may have knocked him out, player. Got to be kidding me. AJ Styles getting involved for what? And now Finn Balor with a power bomb. Not going to work though because Christian fights out of it. Still continuing this match. I, that was unfortunate. And look at this now. AJ Styles and Christian staring each other down. AJ says, come on, bring it. Oh, he's just trying to, he's trying to get his attention right now so he can attack him. Look at this. AJ's not even supposed to be in the ring right now. But he's using that to his advantage right now. Oh, look at this. He has Christian again. You got to be kidding me right now. The referee, he needs to step in there and do something about this. Oh! Christian bringing AJ Styles in the ring, but he throws him back out. But Finn Balor, he's the legal man in this match, so he takes advantage. Drop kicking Christian across the back of the head. 
Yeah, man, get hit in your face or getting hit from somebody in front of you. Oh, DDT again from Christian. Another counter. Like I was saying, player, you get hit in the front of your face or with somebody coming at you in front of you, it's, it's, it's enough to take you out, man. But when you don't expect it and don't see it coming, you can't even protect yourself, man. You get hit in the back of the head or in the back, you're going down, and you, you're probably going to get even hurt. It hurt even more, I mean. But right now, Samoa Joe's in there. He didn't see that elbow coming from. He didn't see that one either. Finn Bell's doing a great job against Samoa Joe, but Samoa Joe is fresh. He just got in this match. Look at Christian. Look at Christian. He ain't doing nothing, though. He gets kicked off the apron. He tried. He tried, but it didn't work. Take it, Christian, off. Ah, oh, but the German suplex for Finn Balor took him out, player. Yeah, he's trying to get some, he's trying to get advantage right now over Finn Balor. Try to slap him across the face. That time it works. Look at this. Oh my God, the skin of Finn Balor is being torn apart by Samoa Joe's hands right now. Oh, a nice clothesline. And it kicks him in the back. Look at these, all these strikes. Look how quick Samoa Joe is moving right now. He's unstoppable. And now Samoa Joe, again with the slap across the face, stalking him. Oh, but the elbow from Finn Balor answers back. And Samoa Joe throws that away, Ooh. hits him with the uppercut. Yeah, he doing work right now, man. Samoa Joe putting in that work. He putting in that work. Scope slam. Got him. He got him down. Now what's he going to do next? Oh, come on, man. That's a lot of weight right there. That's a lot of weight on his Oh. Oh, oh, God, AJ Styles beating the hell out of Samoa Joe. He's not even in the ring right now. He ain't getting him with those fists. Look at this now. A frog oh. splash, but he missed. AJ Styles keeps trying to get involved in this match, but it's not working out for him. Samoa Joe kicks him right in his head. And now look at this. Oh, Finn Balor, he saw Samoa Joe coming, though, and he stopped him. Watch out for the referee here. Dropped all by Samoa Joe. And now AJ Styles, he needs to get out of the ring right now. The referee trying to get him out of the ring. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now. AJ Styles throwing the referee out of the ring. Are you kidding me? Come on now. And AJ now going after Samoa Joe, but Christian, he's still in the ring right now. He's still involved in this in the match. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm prettier if he hits that sacrifice. We could have a new TNA World Heavyweight Champion. And look at uh, this, fun. Finn Balor as well. Oh, Christian in that fan like he open. You get on prettier. You get on prettier. You get on prettier. Everybody get on prettier. And now Samoa Joe, man, coming back in. He looked a little disappointed that he couldn't be the one that took them both out, it seems like. And now here we go. The Samoan submission machine might be looking to end the match right here, right now. Here we go. Muscle Buster Tom from Samoa Joe. Oh my God. That's it. Hooks here the leg. Look at this. One, One, two. two. Broken AJ up Styles by AJ breaks it Styles up. at the very last second. Wow. And this match is going to continue. Samoa Joe with the backhand and a slap across the face. Oh my God, AJ needs to stop getting back in the ring. Every time he gets back in, he gets knocked back down and he's not even in the match. Finn Balor's having trouble too. Samoa Joe is just so brutal, so devastating when he gets in that ring. Oh, but he got the knees up right now for Finn Balor. He takes down Samoa Joe. Finn Balor has a chance. He has a chance right now. Kicking Samoa Joe down. Oh, watch it. Going right over AJ Styles here to get up to the top rope. Look at Christian now. Christian got to stop Finn Balor. And now Samoa Joe going to take advantage. Here we go. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Finn Bell is in trouble, oh my God, oh my God, underhook suplex from the top rope by Samoa Joe. Now Christian is the legal man in the ring. Oh, look at that. 
the execution. Shades of his brother Edge. Now wait a minute, Edge, he isn't actually his brother, they're actually best friends. See what happened was, Edge and Christian, oh, Fox Flash, they lied to get into the World Wrestling Entertainment, said they were brothers for years, they had the WWE trick, everything, Claire, it was great. They got one over them. They got them contracts, they became famous, then they finally let the cat out of the bag when they came back, when Christian went back to the WWE. Now he's back at TNA, we all know the truth, and they're famous. So, you know, more of the story is, sometimes you gotta lie. All right, now here we go with Samoa Joe and AJ Styles here. They're not legal in this match, though. Look at this. Samoa Joe! Oh, he takes out the phenomenal AJ Styles. I didn't see what happened. But Christian is going for the pin. What happened? Two. Oh, Christian gets the victory. Samoa Joe and Christian pick up the win here tonight on TNA Impact. But what happened? We need to go back to the replay and see what happened here. It was hard to keep up with the action when we got total non-stop action everywhere, man. That's the name of the game, man. See, Christian, he got out of that, man. He wasn't going to take a loss right there. This DDT was booted up. I'm telling you, man, so old Joe took out Finn Bell with that suicide dive, man. Flight to Samoa. Oh, and that, oh, player, that was just devastating right there for the referee. Look at that, look at that punch right there, though. A Finn Bell knocked Christian the hell out. Man. And then here's that drop kick we were talking about earlier, that shotgun drop kick that you said was in a video game or something. And that's what happened with Samoa Joe and AJ went to the outside. Christian hits another impredia on Finn Bell. He hooks his leg, he picks up that victory, he gets the match. Will he be the new World Heavyweight Champion at TNA Sacrifice? We're going to find out this Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, play. That and so much more at TNA Sacrifice Live. Don't forget to subscribe. Like us on Facebook if you look at the description box below. But thank you for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button. Make a, leave a comment. This has been an incredible night. Good night, everybody.